Hey guys, before this video begins, I know many of you are looking for the fast food reviews. No worries. They have not gone away indefinitely. I actually had to start a new channel for my fast food review, so if you're still curious, if you still want to watch the fun reviews that I used to do on this channel for many years, you can now go to Dame Drops TV right here on YouTube. I could have made a website, I didn't. I could have did the Patreon, I didn't. I'm still gonna give it to you on the very platform where all of this started. So feel free to subscribe to the channel. New food reviews and shorter food reviews and food reviews only will be happening now on Dame Drops TV. So if you're looking for food reviews, Dame Drops TV, the link is in the description box below. Be sure to subscribe, be sure to turn the notifications on because we'll be getting back to the original thing thing, but over there. The future of this channel, I will still be doing food reviews, but they're going to be long form food reviews. After a conversation with my YouTube manager, this channel has to go in a very different direction. If it is to thrive within the changes of the YouTube platform, the algorithm, and everything else that's going on. It's unfortunate, but it's also life. So if you want to still support my fast food reviews, my regular food reviews, it will now be happening on Dame Drops TV. Or you could just support the long form food reviews that will be happening right here on my main channel. Now, let's talk about the parents. Let's talk about the parents that are highly disgusted with Logan Paul. Let's actually correct something that I had said in yesterday's video where I was like, YouTube took down Logan Paul's video from their trending page. No, they did not. No, they did not. Many of you corrected me on that. Logan Paul took down Logan Paul's video. Therefore, it was no longer on the trending page. That is what happened. So basically, YouTube was saying that the video was okay. They were saying it was all right. Had he not removed this video, would it still be on trending? Like, I don't know, am I the only one with this one? Would it still be on trending? Would it still be up there? Well, at this point, I would definitely say the answer, I would hope the answer would be no. Because so many different news media outlets have now covered the story. I'm not gonna go beat him up over it. I covered it already. However, talking to the parents in this video, we all have to do better when it comes to monitoring what it is that our children are watching, who our children are defending. They need to learn what is right and what is wrong when our children do not know the difference at 10 years old, 11 years old, 12 years old, 13 years old. Come on. Are we failing as parents because we're allowing platforms to raise our children? Are you as a parent allowing for YouTube to raise your child? Is your child coming home from school, skipping homework, watching YouTube all day until it's almost time for mommy and daddy to come home because they're a latchkey kid and they spent all of that time instead of being productive, they spent it on YouTube. They spent it watching their favorite YouTubers. Well, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'll never say supporting YouTube is a bad thing. What I will say is as a parent, we should be doing our job as a parent. Just because YouTube came out, it does not relieve us from our responsibilities as a parent, making sure that our children are growing up the right way that they're watching kid-friendly videos. Or at least we would hope they would be kid-friendly. But when you sit with your child and you limit their time online and you monitor what it is that he or she is watching, you'll have a better understanding of what's going on versus getting upset about it later. So all of this that has blown up in the face of YouTube, that has blown up in the face of Logan Paul, give me a minute, cause your boy's thirsty. Mm. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all. Slide of Dunkin' Donuts. Iced tea, large, just lemon, no sugar booger. Woo! Y'all. Oh, banging. All right, look. We have to do better. We have to make sure that we're spending the quality time with our kids that they deserve. And if by chance they're spending too much time 
on YouTube, fall back. Fall back. Get outside. Go build something. Get in those books. Learn something. Educate yourselves. Want to be more than just a creator. You can talk to kids these days. Most of them just want to be YouTube content creators. They see their favorite vloggers out there blowing money fast, living in mansions, fast cars, partying hard. They want that life. And they're like, hold up. These YouTubers are doing it with no college education. They're getting big money. That's what I'm looking up to. That's who I want to be. But they don't know the ugly that comes with all of that. They don't know the depression that a lot of these creators go through. A lot of these young kids getting money fast, not knowing how to handle it. A lot of these older individuals getting money fast, not knowing how to handle it. Nobody sits to tell the real story, to tell the dark side of this life. There is a dark side. There's a dark side to getting money the fast way in any given story, in any given story, every given story, there's a dark side. Don't push little Johnny or little Sarah to want to be a content creator. I have two girls. Don't push either one of them into this life. My little one wants to go on and do other things that have nothing to do with YouTube. I love that. I love that. She loves reading. She loves the time that daddy spends with her reading a book. Daddy spends with her outside just playing. It's snowing outside. Let's go build a snowman. We don't have to record that for this platform. Spend that quality time. Build that life. Give your children a better quality of life. Don't allow for YouTube to do it for you. Don't allow YouTube to force feed your children and have them looking up to this individual or that individual. And this individual or that individual is actually raising them because your children spend so much time watching YouTube. Well, guess what? When they spend more time with YouTube than they do with their parents, guess who mommy and daddy truly become? Whoever it is that they're giving all their time to. It's a visual concept. They have sponges going on and they're absorbing everything. Everything they hear, everything they see, they're absorbing. So if the whole entire time is on a cell phone or on a tablet or on a PC, whatever the case may be, on TV with the YouTube app going, if this is what they're doing with their time, guess what? They're being broke down on the inside. They're replacing you with content creators, mommy, daddy. They're replacing you with content creators. They're looking up to the Logan Pauls and Jake Pauls of the world. That's who they know. That's who they see. That's who they have you coming up out of your pocket to get the merchandise to make sure that they're happy. You, you see what I'm saying to you? Like, do you see what's happening? Do you see how the trend is flowing when it comes to your household? You have to raise your children. Don't let someone else do it for you. Don't let YouTube do it for you. Don't let Instagram do it for you. Don't let Facebook do it for you. Don't let Twitter do it for you. Don't let Snapchat do it for you. That's your job. You're the parent. So yes, it makes sense to be upset when you hear news come down that the most popular vlogger on YouTube dropped the ball and somehow YouTube still supported it. Oh, YouTube, we're gonna talk about that. Well, I'm not gonna beat you in the head right now, but I'm gonna beat you in the head in an upcoming video. Right now, it's about the parents. We have to do a better job. We have to monitor what our children are watching. And you can't be there 24-7, 365, that's a given. You have to work. You have to support the family. You have to keep a roof over the head, clothes on the back, food in the refrigerator. Yes, you have to do your job. Yes. That goes without saying. But when you are home, is it you allowing your kids to be upstairs? Like, get away from me? Like, this is my time to just relax? Go ahead and watch YouTube? And let hours go by? Like, when I was being raised up, I gotta say, we didn't have social media. There was no YouTube. It was your parents were helping you with your homework. They were going over your homework that you did when you got out of school, just to make sure that it was correct. Just to make sure you're actually learning something. And then after that, it became like dinner time and then quality time with the family. And whether it was a single family household where it just had a mother or you just had a father there, that was that bonding. That was that communication time. Now it's 
different. Things have changed. Social media has taken over. Technology has taken over. Parents were able to step back, get that breath. I could de-stress because my kids were up over there and they're watching YouTube and YouTube is safe. YouTube is okay to watch. Well, as you've learned recently, it's not always okay. And everything that's kid friendly is not 100% kid friendly. So mom, dad, looking at you, spend that time with your children, monitor what they're watching on this platform. Do not let YouTube raise your kids. Because when that happens, they start defending the wrong that their favorite content creators start to do. And when they start defending what's wrong, well, guess what? They're going to more than likely grow up doing what is wrong, thinking that it is okay. Thinking it's okay. Because that sponge is working overtime. That sponge is still going. That sponge is still absorbing all of the wrong that they've been watching on YouTube. And they begin learning. And going through life like, if I do this, that, and the third, well, I've seen my favorite, you know, YouTube content creator do it, so it's okay to do. That's not the case. This, this, this is not 100% reality. We're going to feed you entertainment. We're going to give you a reason to smile. That's what we do. That's our hustle. They don't call this a real job. They don't call this a nine to five. Let me help you with something. Give me a minute. I need to hit some Dunkin' Donuts. I'm about to take you there. Actors get paid to do a job. Actors, they, they do. Just in case you didn't know. They get paid to do a job. They perform on stage, they perform on screen, they perform and get paid for their services. I love the comment, get a real job. We're actors. And just because we're not on a big screen or on your TV screen, doesn't mean that we're not still doing a job, still doing a service right here on this platform. And true, in the beginning, YouTube wasn't paying like that. But should we talk about Hollywood 30, 40 years ago, 50, 60 years ago? They weren't paying the way they're paying today either. When money comes along, it is time to pay for the services provided. So whether you're watching a video for three minutes or you're watching a video for a half hour to an hour, somebody has to edit that. And if that creator is doing all of that work, spending their entire day to provide you any given level of entertainment, it's a service. Translation, it's a job. Regardless how you may feel about it. Parents, we have a job to do. We have to solidify what it is that we are doing with our parenting skills and how we're spending time with our kids monitoring what it is that they're watching on this given platform. Are we saying it's okay to watch whatever you want to watch? Even though you're seven years old, you're eight years old, you're nine years old, 10 years old, easily impressionable. Are we saying it's okay to watch whatever? I'll never say that. I've never said that ever. My youngest daughter will let you know, daddy's right there. He does not play. Who are we watching today? And guess what? You only have X amount of time to rock with YouTube and then we got to get back to it. This is family right here. We get back to it. Spend a little time on YouTube. Enjoy your little family videos. Let me check them out. Make sure it's legit. Make sure it's legit. Now let's get back to it. We got other things we got to do. As a parent, we all have a job. Don't get up in arms. Don't let it happen. When you put your trust into a platform that's about getting money. YouTube is about getting money. They wanted to make changes to make it safe for kids to watch pretty much everything. So they started dinging the creators, beating the creators in the head. Creators making changes to make more kid-friendly content. They tried. It doesn't work. They're still going to put out their body of work. They're still going to be themselves at the end of the day. They're still going to make mistakes. And if you're not paying attention as a parent, these creators are still going to be raising your kids. Don't get up in arms about that when it's too late. Get on that now. 
Don't be reactive. Be proactive. Get on that now. Do your job now. Monitor what your kids are watching now. Not now, but right now. Parents Against Logan Paul. P-A-L-P. Makes all the sense in the world. Be upset. Be frustrated. Be appalled. Be shocked. Be surprised that YouTube, whatever the case may be. Be whatever you want to be about the given situation as it continues to unfold, as it continues to blow up. Who knows what will happen with Logan Paul? Me personally, I think the kid is going to be just fine. <coughs> or the young man will be just fine. Let me show him a little more respect. The young man will be just fine. Sure, some sponsors may pull out now, back up, be like, oh, we can't invest now. You put that video out, uh, here's your slap on the wrist. He'll get more later on. Things will change later on. And perhaps he has learned something. His apology, a still a little sketch, because on his Twitter page, he still left up that sketchy apology and then did the video apology. So it's a little sketch, but he's still learning. He's going to learn. He's going to make the mistakes. He's going to fall. He's going to fail. He's going to get back up again. And then he's going to have the support of your kids. All of your children. That's what he snatched up. So are you going to be a parent? Or are you going to let Logan Paul parent your children through this platform called YouTube? The choice is yours.